Hey everybody, Ronnie here. So, once again, as always, I did a thing. I did this thing. I wrote a book. It's called How Evolution Works by Ronnie Joubert. It is a chonky boy. It's, this took a very long time, but I'm very proud of it. And this is going to continue this series. Uh, this week is part four, which is early cellular life. That's right. We've made it into the land of the creepy crawlies. I hope you enjoy this. If you do enjoy it, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to purchase the book, uh, you can find it on Amazon at, uh, in both Kindle format and paperback right here. And uh, it is now available on Audible. So, uh, enjoy How Evolution Works, Part 4, Early Cellular Life. Chapter 4, Early Cellular Life Story The First Protocells Formation In the ancient world of early Earth, the stage was set for a remarkable transformation. The oceans, rich with organic molecules and teeming with chemical activity, provided the backdrop for the emergence of the first protocell, a primitive precursor to the complex cells that would eventually populate the planet. This protocell, formed through a series of fortuitous events and interactions, represented a crucial step in the evolution of life. In the ancient world of early Earth, the stage was set for a remarkable transformation. The oceans, rich with organic molecules and teeming with chemical activity, provided the backdrop for the emergence of the first protocell, a primitive precursor to the complex cells that would eventually populate the planet. This protocell, formed through a series of fortuitous events and interactions, represented a crucial step in the evolution of life. Beneath the surface of the primordial ocean, a unique environment thrived around hydrothermal vents. These vents, with their mineral-laden waters and extreme conditions, created pockets where chemical reactions occurred at an accelerated pace. It was here amidst the towering chimneys of precipitated minerals that the first protocell began to take shape. The formation of the first protocell was a culmination of countless molecular interactions and reactions, each contributing to the increasing complexity of the organic soup. In this rich chemical milieu, lipid molecules composed of hydrophobic tails and hydrophilic heads spontaneously assembled into bilayers. These bilayers formed closed vesicles, encapsulating portions of the surrounding water and dissolved molecules within their confines. This self-assembly process was driven by the amphiphilic nature of the lipid molecules which sought to minimize their free energy by arranging themselves in structures that shielded their hydrophobic tails from the aqueous environment. One such vesicle, floating through the mineral-rich waters, encapsulated a variety of organic molecules including amino acids, nucleotides and simple sugars. This vesicle, the nascent protocell, provided a microenvironment where these molecules could interact more efficiently than in the vast expanse of the ocean. The lipid bilayer of the protocell not only served as a barrier, protecting its contents from the external environment, but also facilitated selective permeability, allowing certain molecules to enter and exit while keeping others contained. Within the confines of the protocell, the concentration of reactants was higher than in the surrounding water, promoting a range of chemical reactions. Amino acids linked together to form short peptides, driven by the catalytic surfaces provided by the mineral particles trapped within the vesicle. These peptides in turn exhibited rudimentary catalytic properties, accelerating the formation of other molecules. Among these reactions, the polymerization of nucleotides into RNA strands was particularly significant. 
The RNA molecules within the protocell were not merely passive templates, they possessed catalytic activity. Some RNA strands folded into specific three-dimensional shapes, creating active sites that could catalyze the formation of phosphodista bonds between nucleotides. These ribozymes, as they would later be known, facilitated the replication of RNA sequences, albeit with a degree of error. The replication process involved the alignment of free nucleotides with complementary bases on the RNA template, followed by the formation of covalent bonds to create a new RNA strand. The replication of RNA within the protocell was a pivotal development. Each replication cycle introduced mutations, generating a diverse population of RNA molecules with varying sequences and functions. Natural selection acted on this diversity, favoring those RNA molecules that were more efficient at self-replication or catalysis. Over time, the protocell's RNA population evolved, with advantageous sequences becoming more prevalent. The lipid bilayer of the protocell was not a static structure, it was dynamic, constantly exchanging components with the surrounding environment. Fatty acids and other lipids incorporated into the bilayer, repairing any damage and allowing the protocell to grow. As the protocell expanded, it underwent fission, splitting into two daughter vesicles, each inheriting a portion of the original contents. This process of growth and division was not perfectly controlled, but it allowed the protocell to proliferate and pass on its molecular cargo to subsequent generations. The interior of the protocell was a hub of chemical activity. The peptides and RNA molecules formed a primitive metabolic network facilitating the synthesis of new molecules and the recycling of existing ones. The mineral particles within the protocell acted as catalytic surfaces, promoting reactions that would otherwise be too slow or inefficient. The interplay between the lipid bilayer, the encapsulated molecules, and the catalytic surfaces created a dynamic system capable of sustaining itself and evolving over time. One day, as the protocell drifted through a particularly active region near a hydrothermal vent, it encountered a burst of energy from the vent's superheated water. This energy influx drove a series of reactions within the protocell, resulting in the formation of a more stable and efficient ribozyme. This ribozyme had enhanced catalytic properties, allowing it to replicate RNA sequences with greater fidelity and speed. The presence of this ribozyme within the protocell conferred a significant advantage, enabling it to outcompete other vesicles in the vicinity. As the protocell continued to evolve, it developed more complex interactions with its environment. The lipid bilayer became more sophisticated, incorporating proteins and other molecules that enhanced its stability and functionality. Transport proteins facilitated the selective uptake of nutrients and the expulsion of waste products, creating a more controlled internal environment. The development of membrane-bound enzymes further streamlined the protocell's metabolic processes, increasing its efficiency and adaptability. The evolution of the protocell was not a linear process. It involved periods of stability punctuated by bursts of innovation driven by environmental changes and molecular interactions. Each generation of protocells contributed to the gradual increase in complexity, setting the stage for the emergence of true cellular life. The primitive protocell, with its dynamic lipid bilayer, catalytic RNA and burgeoning metabolic network represented the first step toward the development of the complex cellular systems that would eventually dominate the planet. The formation of the first protocell highlights the intricate interplay between chemistry and biology in the early Earth environment. The self-assembly of lipid molecules into bilayers, the catalytic activity of RNA and the role of minerals in facilitating chemical reactions were all critical components of this process. Water, as the medium in which these interactions took place, played an indispensable role, providing the solvent properties and thermal stability necessary for the formation and function of the protocell. 
The journey of the first protocell from its formation in the mineral-rich waters of a hydrothermal vent to its evolution into a more complex entity underscores the importance of the dynamic environment of early Earth in shaping the origin of life. The interactions between the protocell and its surroundings drove the processes of replication, mutation and natural selection, leading to the gradual emergence of more sophisticated cellular structures. As we transition to the next section, we will explore the formation and importance of early cellular life in greater detail. We will examine the properties and functions of protocells, the role of lipid bilayers in creating compartments, and the significance of self-replication and metabolic pathways. Through this examination, we will gain a deeper understanding of how the interplay between chemistry and biology led to the emergence of the first living cells, setting the stage for the incredible diversity of life that would follow. The journey from simple molecules to complex cellular systems highlights the profound ways in which the Earth's physical and chemical environment shaped the evolution of life, providing a foundation for the study of life's origins and its continued evolution. In summary, the formation of the first protocell was a pivotal event in the history of life on Earth. This primitive entity with its dynamic lipid bilayer catalytic RNA and burgeoning metabolic network represented the initial step towards the development of complex cellular systems. The processes that led to its formation, self-assembly, catalysis and natural selection, are foundational principles that continue to underpin biological systems today. As we delve deeper into the formation and importance of early cellular life, we will uncover the intricate mechanisms that drove the evolution of life on our planet, providing a deeper understanding of the origins and continued evolution of life. The protocells represent a critical intermediate stage in the origin of life, bridging the gap between simple organic molecules and fully functional living cells. These primitive cellular structures, composed primarily of lipid membranes that encapsulate various organic compounds, provided the necessary compartmentalization for biochemical reactions to occur in a controlled and efficient manner. Understanding the formation, structure and significance of protocells is essential for unraveling the complex processes that led to the emergence of life on Earth. Protocells are defined as simple, cell-like structures that form spontaneously under prebiotic conditions. They consist of a lipid bilayer that encloses an aqueous compartment containing a mixture of organic molecules such as nucleotides, amino acids and peptides. This lipid bilayer serves as a semi-permeable membrane, allowing the selective exchange of substances between the internal environment of the protocell and the external surroundings. The compartmentalization provided by the lipid membrane is crucial for maintaining distinct internal conditions that facilitate biochemical reactions, protect genetic material, and support the evolution of metabolic pathways. The significance of protocells lies in their role as precursors to true living cells. By providing a confined environment where organic molecules can interact more efficiently, protocells create a microhabitat that supports the emergence of self-replicating systems and the development of early metabolic networks. The encapsulation of genetic material such as RNA within a lipid membrane allows for the concentration of reactants and the protection of nascent biopolymers from degradation. This compartmentalization is a key step in the transition from non-living chemistry to living biology. Several hypotheses have been proposed to explain the formation of protocells under prebiotic conditions. One prominent hypothesis is the lipid world hypothesis, which suggests that the spontaneous formation of lipid bilayers in aqueous environments provided the initial compartments necessary for the origin of life. 
Lipids, being amphiphilic molecules with hydrophobic tails and hydrophilic heads, naturally self-assemble into bilayers when exposed to water. This self-assembly process is driven by the hydrophobic effect, where the hydrophobic tails aggregate to minimize their exposure to water, while the hydrophilic heads remain in contact with the aqueous environment. The lipid world hypothesis is supported by the observation that lipid molecules, such as fatty acids and phospholipids, are abundant in prebiotic environments and can readily form bilayers under a range of conditions. Fatty acids, which are simpler and more likely to have been present on early Earth, can form stable vesicles at relatively low concentrations and temperatures. These vesicles can encapsulate various organic molecules, creating protocells that mimic the basic structure of modern cells. Another hypothesis for the formation of protocells involves the role of mineral surfaces in catalyzing the assembly of lipid bilayers and the encapsulation of organic molecules. Mineral particles, such as clays and iron sulfur compounds, provide catalytic surfaces that can facilitate the polymerization of nucleotides and amino acids. These minerals can also promote the adsorption of lipid molecules, leading to the formation of bilayers around the particles. The resulting structures, known as coaxivates, can encapsulate a diverse array of organic molecules, creating microenvironments that support the synthesis and replication of biopolymers. The membrane-first hypothesis proposes that the formation of lipid bilayers and protocells was a crucial first step in the origin of life, preceding the development of genetic material and metabolic networks. This hypothesis is based on the idea that compartmentalization is essential for the emergence of self-replicating systems, as it allows for the concentration of reactants and the protection of genetic material from the external environment. The formation of protocells would have provided the necessary compartments for the evolution of RNA-based life forms, which could then develop more complex metabolic pathways and cellular structures. Experiments supporting the protocell theories have provided valuable insights into the plausibility of these hypotheses and the conditions under which protocells could have formed. One key experiment conducted by Jack Sostak and his colleagues demonstrated the spontaneous formation of fatty acid vesicles under prebiotic conditions. Zostak's team showed that fatty acids, when mixed with water and exposed to gentle agitation, spontaneously formed bilayer vesicles that could encapsulate various organic molecules. These vesicles exhibited properties similar to those of modern cell membranes, including selective permeability and the ability to grow and divide. Further experiments by Zostak and others have explored the role of mineral surfaces in promoting the formation of protocells. These studies have shown that clays such as Montmorillonite can catalyze the polymerization of RNA from activated nucleotides and facilitate the encapsulation of RNA within lipid vesicles. The presence of clay particles within the vesicles enhances the stability and replication of RNA, providing a plausible mechanism for the co-evolution of genetic material and protocell membranes. Another significant line of experimental research has focused on the replication and evolution of RNA within protocells. Researchers have demonstrated that ribozymes or catalytic RNA molecules can facilitate the replication of RNA within lipid vesicles. These ribozymes can catalyze the formation of phosphodiester bonds between nucleotides, enabling the synthesis of new RNA strands. The encapsulation of ribozymes and their substrates within protocells creates a microenvironment that supports the evolution of more efficient and specialized catalytic functions. Over successive generations, these protocells can evolve through natural selection with the most efficient replicators and catalysts becoming more prevalent. In addition to the role of lipids and minerals, other factors such as temperature, pH, and ionic strength can influence the formation and stability of protocells. Experiments have shown that moderate temperatures, slightly acidic to neutral pH, and the presence of divalent cations such as magnesium and calcium can enhance the stability and growth of lipid vesicles. These conditions are consistent with the environments found around hydrothermal vents and other prebiotic settings. 
supporting the idea that such environments were conducive to the formation of protocells. The encapsulation of organic molecules within protocells provides several advantages for the emergence of life. First, it allows for the concentration of reactants, increasing the likelihood of chemical interactions and the formation of complex biopolymers. Second, it protects genetic material such as RNA from degradation by external factors such as ultraviolet radiation and hydrolytic enzymes. Third, it creates a micro-environment where metabolic reactions can occur more efficiently, driven by the interactions between encapsulated molecules and the catalytic surfaces of minerals. The dynamic nature of protocells, with their ability to grow, divide and exchange components with the surrounding environment, also plays a crucial role in their evolution. The lipid bilayer of protocells is not a rigid structure. It can incorporate new lipids and repair damage, ensuring the stability and continuity of the protocell over successive generations. The process of protocell division, driven by the expansion of the lipid bilayer and internal pressure, results in the formation of daughter vesicles that inherit a portion of the original contents. This process of growth and division allows protocells to proliferate and adapt to changing environmental conditions. The evolution of protocells involved the gradual development of more sophisticated interactions with their environment. The incorporation of proteins and other molecules into the lipid bilayer enhanced its stability and functionality. Transport proteins facilitated the selective uptake of nutrients and the expulsion of waste products, creating a more controlled internal environment. Membrane-bound enzymes streamlined the protocell's metabolic processes, increasing its efficiency and adaptability. As protocells evolved, they developed the ability to support more complex biochemical networks, including the formation of metabolic pathways and the synthesis of proteins. The evolution of the genetic code and the translation machinery allowed RNA sequences to be translated into proteins, expanding the range of possible biochemical reactions. This division of labor between RNA and proteins facilitated the development of more sophisticated metabolic networks, laying the groundwork for the emergence of true living cells. The study of protocells and their formation provides valuable insights into the processes that drove the origin of life. By understanding the properties and functions of protocells, we can gain a deeper understanding of how simple organic molecules evolved into the complex cellular systems that characterize modern life. The interplay between chemistry and biology, driven by the dynamic environment of early Earth, highlights the intricate mechanisms that underlie the emergence of life. In summary, protocells represent a critical, intermediate stage in the origin of life, bridging the gap between simple organic molecules and fully functional living cells. These primitive cellular structures compose primarily of lipid membranes that encapsulate various organic compounds, provided the necessary compartmentalization for biochemical reactions to occur in a controlled and efficient manner. The formation of protocells, driven by the self-assembly of lipid molecules and the catalytic properties of minerals, created a microenvironment where genetic material and metabolic networks could evolve. Experiments supporting protocell theories have demonstrated the plausibility of these hypotheses and provided valuable insights into the conditions under which protocells could have formed. The dynamic nature of protocells, with their ability to grow, divide and adapt to changing environmental conditions, underscores their significance as precursors to true living cells. As we continue to explore the formation and importance of early cellular life, we uncover the intricate mechanisms that drove the evolution of life on our planet, providing a deeper understanding of the origins and continued evolution of life. Lipid membranes. The formation of lipid membranes is a fundamental aspect of cellular life, crucial for the development and stability of early protocells. Lipid bilayers, composed of amphiphilic molecules, form the structural basis of these membranes, creating distinct internal environments necessary for biochemical reactions and the emergence of life. Understanding the structure, properties and functions of lipid bilayers provides essential insights into how early cellular life evolved and maintained stability.
Lipid molecules, the primary components of cell membranes, possess a unique structure that enables the formation of bilayers. Each lipid molecule consists of a hydrophilic or water-attracting head group and one or more hydrophobic or water-repelling tail groups. The hydrophilic head typically contains a phosphate group or a carbohydrate moiety, while the hydrophobic tails are composed of long hydrocarbon chains. This dual affinity allows lipid molecules to spontaneously arrange themselves in aqueous environments to minimize the exposure of their hydrophobic tails to water. When lipid molecules are introduced into an aqueous environment, they spontaneously assemble into bilayers, where the hydrophobic tails are shielded from water by the hydrophilic heads. This self-assembly process is driven by the hydrophobic effect which seeks to minimize the free energy of the system by reducing the contact between water and the hydrophobic tails. The resulting structure is a lipid bilayer, a two-dimensional sheet of lipid molecules with hydrophilic heads facing the aqueous environment on both sides and hydrophobic tails facing inward away from water. The structure of lipid bilayers provides several critical properties essential for the formation and function of protocells. First and foremost, lipid bilayers create a distinct internal environment by forming a barrier that separates the interior of the protocell from the external surroundings. This compartmentalization is vital for maintaining specific conditions within the protocell that are conducive to biochemical reactions. By controlling the exchange of substances between the inside and outside of the protocell, lipid bilayers enable the concentration of reactants and the protection of genetic material. The selective permeability of lipid bilayers is another crucial property that contributes to the distinct internal environment of protocells. While the bilayer is impermeable to most ions and polar molecules, it allows the passive diffusion of small nonpolar molecules such as oxygen and carbon dioxide. The selective permeability is further enhanced by the incorporation of membrane proteins, which act as channels, carriers or pumps, to facilitate the transport of specific ions and molecules across the membrane. This controlled exchange of substances is essential for maintaining the internal homeostasis of the protocell, supporting metabolic processes and enabling the uptake of nutrients and the expulsion of waste products. The fluidity of lipid bilayers is a key factor in their function and stability. Lipid molecules within the bilayer are not static. They can move laterally within the plane of the membrane, allowing for the dynamic reorganization of membrane components. This fluidity is influenced by the composition of the lipid molecules, particularly the length and saturation of the hydrocarbon tails. Shorter and unsaturated hydrocarbon tails increase membrane fluidity, while longer and saturated tails decrease it. The fluidity of the lipid bilayer is crucial for the function of membrane proteins, the fusion and fission of protocells, and the overall adaptability of the protocell to changing environmental conditions. The stability of lipid bilayers is also influenced by the presence of cholesterol and other sterols, which modulate the packing of lipid molecules within the membrane. Cholesterol, for example, intercalates between the hydrocarbon tails of lipid molecules, reducing membrane fluidity at high temperatures and preventing the membrane from becoming too rigid at low temperatures. This stabilizing effect of cholesterol helps maintain the integrity and functionality of the lipid bilayer across a range of environmental conditions. The formation of lipid bilayers and their role in creating distinct internal environments were pivotal for the stability and function of early protocells. By providing a semi-permeable barrier, lipid bilayers allowed protocells to concentrate reactants, protect genetic material, and maintain specific internal conditions necessary for biochemical reactions. This compartmentalization was a key step in the evolution of self-replicating systems and the development of metabolic networks. One of the significant challenges faced by early protocells was maintaining the integrity of the lipid bilayer in the harsh and dynamic environment of early Earth. The stability of the lipid bilayer was crucial for the survival and proliferation of protocells as disruptions to the membrane could lead to the loss of internal contents and the collapse of metabolic processes.
the ability of lipid molecules to self-repair and incorporate new lipids from the environment played a vital role in maintaining membrane integrity. Protocells could acquire new lipids through passive diffusion or by capturing smaller lipid vesicles, thereby repairing any damage to the bilayer and ensuring the continuity of the protocell over successive generations. The dynamic nature of lipid bilayers also allowed protocells to grow and divide, a process essential for the proliferation and evolution of early cellular life. As protocells absorbed new lipids and expanded their membranes, internal pressure and the physical properties of the bilayer drove the formation of daughter vesicles. The fission of protocells resulted in the inheritance of genetic material, metabolic components and catalytic surfaces by the daughter vesicles, enabling the propagation of advantageous traits and the adaptation to changing environmental conditions. The incorporation of proteins into lipid bilayers further enhanced the functionality and stability of protocells. Membrane proteins, which could evolve from peptides and RNA molecules within the protocell, provided specific functions such as transport, catalysis and structural support. Transport proteins facilitated the selective uptake of nutrients and the expulsion of waste products, creating a more controlled internal environment. Enzymatic proteins embedded in the membrane catalyzed metabolic reactions increasing the efficiency of biochemical processes and supporting the development of more complex metabolic networks. The evolution of membrane-bound proteins also led to the development of signal transduction mechanisms, allowing protocells to respond to external stimuli and coordinate internal processes. Receptor proteins on the membrane surface could detect changes in the environment, such as fluctuations in nutrient availability or temperature, and trigger adaptive responses within the protocell. These signal transduction pathways were crucial for the survival and proliferation of protocells in the dynamic and often harsh conditions of early Earth. The lipid bilayer's role in maintaining a distinct internal environment extended to the protection of genetic material. The encapsulation of RNA and other biopolymers within the lipid bilayer shielded them from hydrolytic enzymes, ultraviolet radiation, and other degradative factors. This protection was essential for the stability and replication of genetic material, enabling the evolution of more complex and specialized RNA molecules. The concentration of RNA and its substrates within the protocell also increased the efficiency of replication and catalysis, supporting the development of self-replicating systems. The stability of lipid bilayers was further enhanced by the presence of divalent cations, such as magnesium and calcium, which stabilized the interactions between lipid head groups and the aqueous environment. These cations formed ionic bridges between the negatively charged phosphate groups of phospholipids, reducing repulsion and increasing membrane cohesion. The presence of divalent cations was particularly important in high temperature environments, such as hydrothermal vents, where the stability of the lipid bilayer could be compromised by thermal agitation. The properties of lipid bilayers also played a crucial role in the formation of protocells capable of supporting early metabolic networks. The semi-permeable nature of the bilayer allowed for the selective exchange of ions and molecules, creating electrochemical gradients that could drive energy production and metabolic reactions. The coupling of proton gradients to ATP synthesis, a process known as chemiosmosis, was a key innovation that enabled protocells to generate and store energy efficiently. The development of membrane-bound ATP synthase enzymes which utilize proton gradients to catalyze the formation of ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphate represented a significant advancement in the metabolic capabilities of protocells. The evolution of lipid bilayers and their role in creating distinct internal environments were fundamental to the transition from simple organic molecules to complex cellular life. By providing compartmentalization, selective permeability and dynamic stability, lipid bilayers enabled protocells to concentrate reactants, protect genetic material and support metabolic processes. The incorporation of proteins and the development of signal transduction mechanisms further enhanced the functionality and adaptability of protocells, 
laying the groundwork for the evolution of true living cells. As we continue to explore the formation and importance of early cellular life, we will delve deeper into the development of metabolic networks, the evolution of genetic material, and the emergence of cellular structures that characterize modern life. By understanding the properties and functions of lipid bilayers, we gain a deeper appreciation for the intricate mechanisms that drove the evolution of life on Earth. The study of protocells and lipid membranes provides valuable insights into the origins of cellular complexity and the continued evolution of life on our planet. Through this exploration, we uncover the profound ways in which the Earth's physical and chemical environment shaped the emergence of life, providing a foundation for the study of life's origins and its continued evolution. Compartmentalization is a fundamental aspect of cellular life, crucial for the organization and efficiency of metabolic processes. The emergence of compartmentalization marked a significant evolutionary step, allowing protocells to maintain distinct internal environments that facilitated complex biochemical reactions. Understanding the advantages of compartmentalization, the mechanisms by which early cells achieved it, and its evolutionary significance provides a comprehensive view of how life evolved from simple molecular systems to complex cellular structures. The primary advantage of compartmentalization is the ability to create and maintain distinct internal environments within a cell. These microenvironments are essential for optimizing the conditions required for specific biochemical reactions, which often differ from those of the surrounding environment. By segregating different reactions into separate compartments, cells can control factors such as pH, ion concentration, and the availability of substrates and cofactors. This control allows for more efficient and regulated metabolic pathways, minimizing cross-reactions and maximizing the yield of desired products. In early protocells, compartmentalization would have provided several key benefits. One of the most significant advantages is the concentration of reactants. In a vast and dilute primordial ocean, the probability of reactants encountering each other and reacting is relatively low. Compartmentalization increases the local concentration of reactants, enhancing the likelihood of interactions and promoting the formation of complex molecules. This is particularly important for the synthesis of macromolecules, such as proteins and nucleic acids, which require the sequential assembly of monomers. Compartmentalization also facilitates the protection and stability of genetic material. In the harsh and dynamic environment of early Earth, genetic molecules like RNA and DNA were vulnerable to degradation by hydrolytic enzymes, ultraviolet radiation and other damaging factors. Encapsulating genetic material within lipid bilayers or other compartmental structures shielded these molecules from external threats, preserving their integrity and allowing for more efficient replication and transcription. This protection was crucial for the evolution of self-replicating systems and the development of complex genetic networks. Another advantage of compartmentalization is the separation of incompatible reactions. Many biochemical processes produce intermediate compounds or byproducts that can interfere with other reactions if not properly managed. By segregating different pathways into distinct compartments, cells can prevent unwanted interactions and ensure that each reaction proceeds under optimal conditions. For example, the synthesis of ATP through oxidative phosphorylation generates reactive oxygen species that can damage cellular components. Compartmentalizing this process within specialized structures, such as mitochondria, protects the rest of the cell from oxidative damage. The earliest mechanisms of compartmentalization likely involved simple lipid bilayers that formed spontaneously in aqueous environments. These lipid bilayers, composed of amphiphilic molecules with hydrophobic tails and hydrophilic heads, self-assembled into vesicles that encapsulated portions of the surrounding water and dissolved molecules. This process, driven by the hydrophobic effect, resulted in the formation of protocells, primitive cell-like structures that provided the initial compartments for biochemical reactions. 
Experimental studies have demonstrated that fatty acids, which are simpler and more likely to have been present on early Earth than phospholipids, can form stable vesicles under prebiotic conditions. These fatty acid vesicles exhibit properties similar to those of modern cell membranes, including selective permeability, the ability to grow and divide, and the capacity to encapsulate a variety of organic molecules. The formation of such vesicles would have created the first microenvironments where reactants could concentrate and interact more efficiently than in the open ocean. In addition to lipid bilayers, other mechanisms of early compartmentalization likely involved mineral surfaces and coacivates. Mineral surfaces, such as those found in hydrothermal vent environments, provided catalytic sites for the adsorption and concentration of organic molecules. These surfaces could facilitate the assembly of lipid bilayers around mineral particles, creating hybrid structures that combine the advantages of lipid membranes and mineral catalysis. Coxivates, which are phase-separated droplets formed by the aggregation of macromolecules in aqueous solutions, also provided a form of compartmentalization. These droplets can encapsulate a variety of molecules and create microenvironments conducive to biochemical reactions. The evolutionary significance of compartmentalization extends beyond the immediate advantages it provides for metabolic processes. Compartmentalization is a key driver of cellular complexity, enabling the development of specialized structures and functions within a single cell. This specialization allows for more efficient and coordinated metabolic pathways, supporting the evolution of increasingly complex organisms. One of the most significant evolutionary developments enabled by compartmentalization is the evolution of eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells are characterized by their extensive internal compartmentalization, with membrane-bound organelles that perform specific functions. The nucleus, mitochondria, chloroplasts, endoplasmic reticulum, and Golgi apparatus are examples of organelles that compartmentalize various biochemical processes. This internal organization allows eukaryotic cells to maintain distinct environments for different metabolic pathways, enhancing their efficiency and regulation. The endosymbiotic theory, which posits that mitochondria and chloroplasts originated from free-living prokaryotic cells that were engulfed by an ancestral eukaryotic cell, highlights the importance of compartmentalization in cellular evolution. According to this theory, the engulfed prokaryotes formed symbiotic relationships with their host cell, eventually evolving into specialized organelles. This symbiosis provided the host cell with new metabolic capabilities such as aerobic respiration and photosynthesis, while the engulfed prokaryotes benefited from the protection and resources provided by the host. The evolution of these organelles illustrates how compartmentalization can drive the development of complex cellular structures and enhance metabolic diversity. In addition to the evolution of organelles, compartmentalization has played a critical role in the development of multicellularity. Multicellular organisms consist of specialized cells that perform distinct functions, often organized into tissues and organs. The compartmentalization of functions within and between cells allows for the division of labor, enhancing the overall efficiency and adaptability of the organism. For example, in multicellular plants, the compartmentalization of photosynthesis in chloroplasts nutrient transport in vascular tissues and structural support in cell walls allows for the efficient capture and utilization of energy, growth and reproduction. Compartmentalization also facilitates the regulation of cellular processes through spatial and temporal control. By localizing specific reactions and signaling pathways within distinct compartments, cells can finely tune their metabolic responses to environmental changes. This regulation is essential for maintaining cellular homeostasis and coordinating complex behaviors such as cell division, differentiation, and apoptosis. The ability to compartmentalize and regulate biochemical processes is a hallmark of cellular life, supporting the evolution of diverse and adaptable organisms.
The study of compartmentalization in early cellular life provides valuable insights into the mechanisms that drove the evolution of complexity. By understanding how simple lipid bilayers and other compartmental structures created microenvironments for biochemical reactions, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the intricate processes that led to the emergence of life. The evolution of compartmentalization illustrates the dynamic interplay between chemistry and biology, highlighting the importance of organization and regulation in the development of living systems. As we continue to explore the formation and importance of early cellular life, we will delve deeper into the development of metabolic networks, the evolution of genetic material and the emergence of cellular structures that characterize modern life. By examining the properties and functions of protocells, lipid membranes and compartmentalization, we uncover the fundamental principles that underpin the evolution of life on Earth. Through this exploration, we gain a comprehensive understanding of how life evolved from simple molecular systems to the complex cellular structures that support the diversity of life on our planet. The advantages of compartmentalization, including the concentration of reactants, protection of genetic material, separation of incompatible reactions and regulation of metabolic processes, underscore its significance in the evolution of early cellular life. The mechanisms by which protocells achieved compartmentalization through the formation of lipid bilayers, mineral surfaces and coacovates highlight the diversity of strategies that life has employed to create and maintain distinct internal environments. The evolutionary significance of compartmentalization from the development of eukaryotic organelles to the emergence of multicellular organisms illustrates its critical role in driving the complexity and adaptability of living systems. In summary, compartmentalization is a cornerstone of cellular life, providing the organizational framework necessary for the efficient and regulated conduct of biochemical processes. The emergence of compartmentalization in early protocells was a pivotal step in the evolution of life, enabling the development of self-replicating systems, metabolic networks and specialized cellular structures. By understanding the advantages, mechanisms and evolutionary significance of compartmentalization, we gain a deeper appreciation for the intricate processes that have shaped the evolution of life on Earth. The study of compartmentalization offers valuable insights into the origins of cellular complexity and the continued evolution of life on our planet, providing a foundation for exploring the dynamic interplay between chemistry and biology that underpins the diversity of life. Conclusion The emergence of life on Earth is a tale of incredible complexity and transformation, beginning with simple molecular aggregates and progressing to the sophisticated early cellular forms. The transition from non-living chemistry to living biology marks one of the most significant chapters in the history of our planet, driven by the formation of protocells, the development of lipid membranes and the advent of compartmentalization. As we reflect on this transformative process, we gain a deeper appreciation for the intricate mechanisms that facilitated the origin of life and set the stage for the development of metabolism, which we will explore further in the next chapter. In the primordial environment of early Earth, a myriad of simple molecules interacted within the vast oceans, hydrothermal vents and tidal pools. These molecules, including amino acids, nucleotides and simple lipids, were the raw materials for the complex chemistry that would eventually give rise to life. The spontaneous formation of lipid bilayers driven by the amphiphilic nature of lipid molecules led to the creation of protocells, primitive cell-like structures that encapsulated portions of the surrounding aqueous environment. The formation of lipid bilayers was a pivotal event providing a means to create distinct internal environments within protocells. These bilayers, composed of hydrophilic heads and hydrophobic tails, self-assembled into stable vesicles that could encapsulate organic molecules. The compartmentalization provided by these bilayers was crucial for maintaining specific conditions necessary for biochemical reactions. 
This separation allowed protocells to concentrate reactants, protect genetic material and support the evolution of metabolic networks. The dynamic properties of lipid bilayers, including their fluidity and selective permeability, further enhance the functionality of protocells. The ability to incorporate new lipids and repair damage ensured the stability and continuity of the protocell over successive generations. Selective permeability allowed for the controlled exchange of substances between the internal and external environments, facilitating the uptake of nutrients and expulsion of waste products. These properties were essential for maintaining the internal homeostasis of protocells and supporting the complex biochemical processes occurring within them. Compartmentalization within protocells provided several key advantages for early cellular life. By creating microenvironments with distinct conditions, protocells could optimize the efficiency of biochemical reactions and prevent cross-reactions that might interfere with metabolic processes. The concentration of reactants within these compartments increased the likelihood of interactions, promoting the formation of complex molecules such as proteins and nucleic acids. The encapsulation of genetic material within lipid bilayers protected it from degradation, allowing for more efficient replication and the development of complex genetic networks. The evolutionary significance of compartmentalization extends beyond the immediate advantages it provides for metabolic processes. Compartmentalization was a key driver of cellular complexity, enabling the development of specialized structures and functions within a single cell. This specialization allowed for more efficient and coordinated metabolic pathways, supporting the evolution of increasingly complex organisms. The evolution of eukaryotic cells, characterized by their extensive internal compartmentalization and membrane-bound organelles, illustrates how compartmentalization can drive the development of complex cellular structures and enhance metabolic diversity. The transition from simple molecular aggregates to early cellular forms involved the gradual development of more sophisticated interactions with the environment. The incorporation of proteins and other molecules into the lipid bilayer enhanced the stability and functionality of protocells. Transport proteins facilitated the selective uptake of nutrients and the expulsion of waste products, creating a more controlled internal environment. Membrane-bound enzymes streamlined metabolic processes, increasing the efficiency of biochemical reactions and supporting the development of more complex metabolic networks. As protocells evolved, they developed the ability to grow and divide, a process essential for the proliferation and evolution of early cellular life. The expansion of the lipid bilayer and internal pressure drove the formation of daughter vesicles, resulting in the inheritance of genetic material, metabolic components and catalytic surfaces by the daughter vesicles. This process of growth and division allowed protocells to proliferate and adapt to changing environmental conditions, ensuring the continuity of advantageous traits over successive generations. The formation and evolution of protocells represent a critical intermediate stage in the origin of life, bridging the gap between simple organic molecules and fully functional living cells. The properties and functions of lipid bilayers, the advantages of compartmentalization, and the dynamic interplay between chemistry and biology highlight the intricate mechanisms that drove the emergence of life. The study of protocells and lipid membranes provides valuable insights into the origins of cellular complexity and the continued evolution of life on our planet. As we conclude our exploration of early cellular life, we turn our attention to the concept of metabolism and its beginnings. Metabolism, the set of life-sustaining chemical reactions that occur within cells, is a defining characteristic of living organisms. It encompasses the processes by which cells convert nutrients into energy, build complex molecules from simpler ones, and break down substances to obtain energy and raw materials. 
The evolution of metabolic pathways was a key development in the transition from non-living chemistry to living biology, enabling protocells to harness and utilize energy efficiently. The earliest metabolic processes likely involved simple redox reactions, driven by the chemical gradients and energy sources available in the primordial environment. The presence of hydrothermal vents, with their rich supply of minerals and reducing conditions, provided an ideal setting for the evolution of these reactions. The reduction of carbon dioxide to organic molecules facilitated by minerals such as iron sulfur clusters was a critical step in the development of early metabolic networks. These reactions laid the groundwork for more complex pathways, including the synthesis of amino acids, nucleotides and lipids. The evolution of metabolic networks involved the gradual development of more efficient and interconnected pathways, the emergence of ribozymes, RNA molecules with catalytic activity facilitated the replication of RNA and the synthesis of proteins. These proteins in turn enhanced the efficiency and regulation of metabolic reactions, supporting the development of more complex metabolic networks. The coupling of proton gradients to ATP synthesis, a process known as chemiosmosis, represented a significant advancement in energy metabolism, enabling protocells to generate and store energy efficiently. The study of metabolism and its beginnings provides a comprehensive understanding of how life evolved from simple molecular systems to complex cellular structures. By examining the evolution of metabolic pathways, the role of catalytic molecules and the interplay between energy production and biosynthesis, we gain deeper insights into the mechanisms that drove the origin and evolution of life. The exploration of metabolism highlights the dynamic and adaptive nature of living systems illustrating how life has evolved to harness and utilize energy in diverse and efficient ways. In summary, the transition from molecular aggregates to early cellular forms marks a significant chapter in the history of life on Earth. The formation of protocells driven by the self-assembly of lipid bilayers and the advantages of compartmentalization provided the necessary conditions for the evolution of self-replicating systems and metabolic networks, the dynamic properties of lipid bilayers, the incorporation of proteins and the development of specialized structures facilitated the emergence of complex cellular life. As we delve into the concept of metabolism and its beginnings, we continue to unravel the intricate processes that have shaped the evolution of life on our planet, providing a foundation for exploring the origins and continued evolution of life.